Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, July 5th, 2021. All right, let's get started. All right, I hope everybody had a happy 4th of July yesterday. It looks like we've got some shaded squares and circles in the grid. Interesting. All right, one across. Negative media coverage in brief. Hmm. It's not like mudslinging or dirt or something. Hmm, I'm not sure what that's going to be. What's one down? Low opera voice. Hmm, is that basso maybe? What's two down here? Had a home cooked meal. Maybe that could be eight in. It's eight in the past tense because the clue is in the past tense also had. Um, yeah, these letters look pretty good next to each other. Let's take a look at this across here. Open air rooms. Oh, this is tricky. So an open air room is an atrium, right? But the clue is asking for rooms, plural. So it needs to be plural. So the plural of atrium is atria. This is a pretty tricky Monday so far. Tiny drink, that could be a sip. 43,560 square feet. Um, I don't know this off the top of my head, but it's looking like one, and then maybe that could be one acre. Yeah, okay. Curtain, that could be a drape. It's another word for curtain, right? Oh, maybe this is bad PR. That would make sense, okay. Snapchat transmission for short, that could be a pic, right? Short for picture. Vulgar as some humor. Maybe that could be raunchy. All right, now we've got a good amount of this, what is almost certainly our first theme answer filled in. Marine inhabitant that's an animal, not a plant, despite what it's called. All right, so we've got CCU, and that's definitely looking like it's going to be C cucumber. Nice, okay. So this is interesting. The beginning, it has a C sound here, and then the letter C in a circle. So it's kind of the same sound twice in a row, right? C and then C again. C cucumber, interesting. I wonder if that's how the rest of the themers are going to work. We'll have a sound that sounds like a letter and then that letter immediately following it. All right, let's see if that prediction comes true. Actor Elvis, that's Carrie Elvis, right? He was uh, in The Princess Bride. Yeah, he was great, okay. Org with missions to Mars, that's gotta be NASA. And when there's an abbreviation in the clue, that means the answer is abbreviated also. That's like, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, I think is what NASA stands for. Dull brown as hair. Is that mousy? Okay. Blank mater, alma mater. That's the school you went to, right? Triangular sail. Oh, that could be a jib. Yeah, that's the triangular sail at the front end of a boat. I've learned that on crosswords. It shows up often enough. Undergraduate's declaration. You declare your major, right? Oleo de blank. Bread dip at a trattoria. A trattoria is like an Italian restaurant, right? So, hmm. I guess this is going to be in Italian. Um, because the first part looks like it's Italian. I think it's got to be olive, right? But I don't know the word for olive in Italian. This is probably a V... Um, but maybe this is an A instead of an E here. Let's see, does this make sense as a V? Attire for the Mario Brothers or the Minions. They all wear overalls, right? Okay, good, we've got our V there. So I'm kind of guessing this is gonna be an A. Cheese on toast dish. Ooh. I don't, oh, you know what? Hmm. I think it might start with rare. I, I'm i not a cheese person, so I don't know that much about cheese, but I think I've maybe seen this on a puzzle once. Uh, let's see if this is an E. Put back in the suitcase. 
Uh, maybe that could be repack because you're putting it back in. Okay, so that does give us that E we were talking about. I'm not sure how it's going to end. Let's see if we can work on these acrosses here. Nightclub. Hmm. Dance something? Hmm. I don't know how it would end though. What's this P? Butter unit? That could be a pat. It's a little square of butter, right? So it's not dance. What was this one here? Swollen mark? That could be a welt, right? If you get hit, you could get a welt. Okay, so... Okay, yeah, this is a Y. So the beginning should be a Y sound, right? So we could put in Y, probably. Angry shout to a miscreant. <laughs> is this Y, you little? That's what Homer says to Bart, right? Beautiful, okay. Fed a line to... I guess, like, in theater, maybe? You could cue someone, or cued, because it's past tense. Fed. Um, nightclub. Huh. Is it rare bit? Yeah, I think that's vaguely ringing a bell. It is oliva. Okay. Olio di oliva. Okay. I think that's just olive oil in Italian. And I guess it is rare bit. Man, that's very tricky for a Monday. Or maybe it's just because of my cheese ignorance, but man. Okay. Nightclub could be a cabaret. That's a nice word, too. Co-star of TV's Maud. Oh, uh, wasn't Maud a spinoff? Wasn't it like... Was it a spinoff of All in the Family or something? Yeah, that's a little before my time. Only Spanish city to host the Olympics. Uh, that's Barcelona. I remember that one. That was in the 90s. Okay. I think it was 92, maybe? Facial feature of Disney's Goofy. Hmm. What does Goofy have? He has buck teeth, right? Big buck teeth? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh, okay, let's work on these short acrosses here. Consumer Protection Org? That could be the Better Business Bureau, maybe. Water in French. That's O. Like Eau de Parfume. Blanc de Triomphe. That's the Arc de Triomphe. More French. This is a very French corner here. Um, that's the uh, kind of monument in Paris, right? The Arch Monument. Um, so maybe this is B. Arthur. Okay, that's an actress I know, I've heard of. Okay, we, what did we get? We got this all filled in here. Garden tool with a long handle is a hoe, yeah. Many a sacrifice play in baseball. That's definitely a bunt. You'll bunt to get your teammate over to the next base, even if you get thrown out. Okay. The Bronx or Brooklyn informally. Hmm. Those are both boroughs in Manhattan. So maybe it's the informal spelling of borough, which is B-O-R-O -O, like that. Yeah, that's a little tricky too. Bar mitzvah reading? Yeah, you read from the Torah when it's your bar mitzvah, okay. Place to buy gifts for kids. Is that just a toy shop, maybe? Okay. You know what, let's work back in this direction. As you can see, I like to work off of clues I have in the grid already. I feel like even if you just have one or two letters in, it makes answers so much easier to see. And I also like working top and left to right and bottom, because um, I feel like having the first letters in a word helps more than getting the end letters. So let's work back kind of towards the top left here. Out of kilter, could that be a rye? That's good. Prince who married Meghan Markle. Okay, I don't know that much about the royals, but I do know that was Prince Harry. Okay, can we get this long down here? Place to store valuables when traveling. Hmm. Is it like a backpack or something? Hmm. Actually, you know what? It might be very useful to get this letter. If we could get it, we could probably get these two letters too. Sean Carter for Jay-Z and Tracy Morrow for Ice-T. I think those are their given names, right? And these are their stage names. 
So, I guess could it be real names? Okay, excellent. All right, so we've got an L here. So that would mean maybe it's E-L, L, sobriquet for Simone Bolivar. Um, okay, so this is like a nickname. That's what sobriquet means for Simone Bolivar. Oh man, so it is L something probably. It's like a nickname in Spanish. I actually don't know what his nickname was though, but I feel pretty good about what we have now. Padre's sister. So Padre is father, right? So this would be your father's sister in Spanish. That's a tia, right? That would be your aunt. Okay, nice. Got some good amount of foreign language clues on this puzzle today. Heed, that could be obey. If you heed an order, you'd obey an order. Okay, so maybe, oh, you know what? You could store stuff in a hotel safe, right? When you're traveling, okay. Skills could be abilities. Oh man, we got a lot filled in here. Ready, aim, fire seems good. Surface charge is a fee, yeah. Shape on a winding road is an S. Yeah, sometimes they'll spell out the letter S. Challenges for dry cleaners could be stains. Actress Lohan of Mean Girls. That was definitely Lindsay, a movie written by Tina Fey. We've seen her crop up a lot recently. Ugandan tyrant Blank Amin. Yeah, that was Iggy Amin. Um, still didn't get much more help here. Employer of Nora O'Donnell. Um, well, she's a like an anchor or something, right? So it's probably like something news, maybe like CBS News. Yeah, maybe it is. Yeah, okay. Let's see if that's right. Make do? Yeah, that could be cope. If you're coping, you're making do. Grand old blank. That's the Grand old Opry. What can barely give a hoot? And when you have a question mark at the end of a clue, that means it's a wordplay clue. So you kind of have to take the standard reading of this clue and kind of throw it out. So the standard reading would be about something that doesn't care, right? But because it's a wordplay, it has to be a pun. So we're probably gonna be dealing with something that's literally hooting. And that would be an owl. Or maybe because it's saying barely, it would be a small owl. So that could be an owlette. That would be a baby owl, right? That's a nice tricky wordplay clue right in the center for this Monday puzzle. That's really good. I like that. That must be our kind of marquee answer today. Top Olympic prizes, that's definitely golds. You could have won some gold in Barcelona if you were an elite athlete. Be lenient with, uh, that should be go easy on, right? So I spelled Lindsay wrong, okay. It's Lindsay, okay. Go easy on. All right, I wonder if this is gonna be an I. It's starting to look like I, right? Let's take a peek at our last theme answer here. Observation satellite, yeah. I in the sky. There we go, nice. Okay, Yale Collegian. Oh yeah, a nickname for people that go to Yale is Eli. That's just what Yale students are called, Eli's. I think it's named after Eli Whitney. Okay, fictional detective Nero. Hmm, I don't know if I know this one. Peeved states. Uh, if you're peeved, you're in a snit. It could be snits. Plural, because states. Declump as flower. That could be sift. Kind of put it through a, a mesh, right? So is this wolf? Nero wolf? I've never heard of that before. Can we get that down here? Makes amends for? Um, when you have a clue with a word in parentheses like this, that just means you're gonna to need to be able to put it at the end of your answer and still have it make sense. So, hmm. This should be something like apologizes for, um, but that doesn't fit. Hmm, I'm not sure what it's gonna be. Blank mention it, don't mention it. Ares and Apollo to Zeus, those are both his sons, right? Camrys and Corollas, those are both models of Toyota, I think, right? Toyotas. Oh, and this could be Atones for, right? 
You can put four at the end of that and that still makes sense. Okay. So then Simon Bolivar was El Libertador. Okay. Maybe he was a liberator, I guess. Okay. Electrified weapon could be a taser. What a maxi dress reaches. That reaches to your ankle, right? It's a very long dress as opposed to a mini skirt. Fashion. I guess that could just be style, right? Insect that can carry up to 50 times its body weight. Yeah, that's definitely an ant. Wide receiver blank Beckham Jr. Is that Odell? I feel like I've maybe heard that name before. And then blender setting. That should be puree. And Yale URL ender. That should be .edu, right? Nice. Got a little Yale theme at the bottom. And a little bit more French, I think, to round out our foreign language skills. All right, let's see if that does it for us. Nice. Monday in 1833. That's a great time for a Monday for us, I think. This was a really cute Monday theme. I liked this. This kind of letter homophone theme. You get a letter of the alphabet and then a word that sounds just like it. That's pretty cool. And then these are all really good phrases. Why you little is really funny. Eye in the sky. Nice and kind of paranoia inducing. A liberator. Very good. I hadn't really heard that one before, so that was a nice one to learn. And sea cucumber. That's really fun. There was a bunch of good longer fill too. I liked cabaret a lot. Um, I liked raunchy. That's a really nice piece of fill. And we got that really nice wordplay clue in the middle. Owlet. Yeah, we got a really good variety of different types of clues today, so I'm happy about that. We got a big chunk of foreign language clues today. Oh, arc. We got Tia, right, for some Spanish. Very nice. All right, I hope you enjoyed solving this Monday puzzle with me. I think we should all feel like people of letters after that nice smooth solve. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.